Hi guys, it's Josh at Zipline Gear. We're gonna talk about elevation gain. And uh, most of the time you set up a zipline, it's just level ground. But sometimes you've got a situation where you've got some climb, some elevation gain. And it's kind of tricky to tell how much you have. And so we're gonna go out in the back lot here in a minute and show you on our zipline how to set it up um, using this site level. Um, but I've drawn this summary diagram just to kind of show you what you're gonna see. And you've got the building here with our lower lower pole and you've got flat ground and then you've got a rise in the flat ground and then we've got our other pole at the other side and I'm gonna sit here on the ground and I'm gonna look through the site level and we're gonna establish a spot on this pole over here when you look through the level what you're gonna see is a vial with a bubble and then some crosshairs and you'll have um, there's a crosshair right there in the center. When the bubble's at the crosshair, that's when you know you're level. So um, let's, uh, let's go outside. So we're out in the back lot right now, and uh, Caleb is with me. He's gonna help me out a little bit. Um, you'll need a couple tools. You'll need uh, a tape measure. You'll need a stapler and some paper. And then we've got this handy little sight level that we're gonna show you how to use, how to look through it. Piece of paper, Caleb's gonna take it, and I'm gonna show him how to use it. And uh, here we go. So right now we're gonna take our little sight level. We're going to shoot across, and shoot I just mean look through the level and see where his piece of paper is. And when the level is, when the bubble is between the, the two ends of the vial, then I'll tell him where to be up or down and then he'll staple it. A little bit up. And you're good, right there. So right now we'll just measure the distance off the ground. And this is just rough. We're not trying to get an exact place on the paper. And we're about 15 feet right here. So we're in from outside and uh, we shot our level line on our, our zip line, our run. And what we found was we had uh, 15 feet off the ground is where we uh, set up our piece of paper and then we had about three feet I was off the ground at the other end which gives us about 12 feet of elevation climb uh, in our situation um, so that's how you establish how much elevation change that you have and this is useful then for the very next step is to figure out how high off the ground your zipline end and beginning need to be so that's your elevation change and how to figure it out. 